welcome to all of you in the online class of UPRTU. Myself, Dr. Sibin Pratap Singh, faculty of English in the School of Humanities. Today, we will discuss about undergraduate programs in English Literature, UGN 101, Reading Poetry. In this paper, we will discuss unit first, Thomas Gray, LG written in country churchyard. Today, we will cover few topics to relate the Thomas Gray's LG written in country churchyard as Thomas Gray's biographical sketch and literary works, Thomas Gray as a transitional poet, the meaning of LG and characteristics of Thomas Gray's LG. Let us be see the first slide, Thomas Gray, biographical sketch and literary works. Thomas Gray was born on December 26, 1716 in the Cornhill district of London. He was the son of Dorothy Anthrobus Gray. A millionaire and Philip Gray, a scrivener. Gray's father was a mentally disturbed and violent man who at times treated his wife with extreme cruelty. Thomas Gray was sent to Eton School where he formed friendship Horace Walpole, Richard West and Thomas Ashton. In 1734, he became a scholar at Peterhouse, Cambridge, and left without taking a degree in 1738. In December of 1743, he took the degree of Bachelor Civil Law at Cambridge, but never practiced. Gray lived at the university for most of the rest of his life, but he never took part in tutoring, lecturing, or other academic duties. Instead, he pursued his studies and writing, taking advantage of the intellectual stimulation of the setting. In 1757, Gray was offered the position of the poet laureate, but he declined. In 1768, Gray was made the professor of modern history at Cambridge. He read widely and earned a reputation as one of the most learned men in Europe. Gray, like a quite a few English poets, did not live long and died on 13th July 1771 in Cambridge. He was buried in the churchyard of Stock Pogues. Thomas Gray was the renowned person of the 18th century. He wrote some literary works as Ode on Spring, Ode on Distant, Professor of Eton College, Hymn to Adversity, Sonnet on the Death of Mr. Richard West, LG Written in Country Churchyard, A Long Story, Ode on That Favorite Cat, The Progress of Poesy, The Bard, and Ode on the Installation of Duke of Grafton. In the third slide, we discuss about Thomas Gray as a transitional poet. As we know that Thomas Gray is the greatest poet of the 18th century, he was widely considered the most important English poet of the mid 18th century. He is transitional poet because in his poetry, we find the merits of both classicist and romanticism. He began his career as a classicist and followed the rules of the ancient masters. He controlled fancy or emotion by region sense. As classicist, he laid emphasis on style and diction of poetry. We find the quality of classicism in his poetry such as personification, allegory, intellectual element, artificially loftiness of diction and style. 
एज ए प्रिकर्स ऑफ रोमांटिक पोएट्स ग्रे हैड लव फॉर नेचर मेडुअलिज्म हेलनिज्म एंड मिलंकली ही हैड सिंपैथी फॉर द वीक एंड द पुअर हिज डिपिक्शन ऑफ नेचर एंड द कॉमन लाइफ एंटिसिपेट द रोमांटिक पोएट लाइक वर्ड्स वर्थ ग्रे इज फोकस ऑन द लाइफ ऑफ द कॉमन पीपल एंड द इफेक्ट ऑफ नेचर अपॉन वन मूड आर characteristics of the romantic poet grace famous poem lg written in country churchyard marks the transition from the neoclassical poetry of pope and dryden and looks forward to advent of romantic poetry of wordsworth and other poets of romantic age grace was known as the most learned man in europe he was interested in criticism metaphysics morals and politics he had fine taste in painting prints architectures and gardening besides he excelled in his knowledge of botany geology and entomology perhaps no other poet with such a thin volume of poetry has become immortal being a critical genius gray permitted only the best to appear in print his poetry has all the merits and demerits of great art and hard work in his poetry he avoided the use of heuristic couplet but experimented with numerous meters and uh, words forms now before studying his greatest work lg written in country churchyard we should know to the meaning of lg the term lg originated from greek word elegos which means a song of lament it is the poetic expression of sorrow or mournfulness which is usually associated with death it has the tone of mourning and it is a song of lamentation it was usually written to uh, mourn the death of a friend or dear and near one as jacobin says the elegy was also used for the epitaphs commemorative words and very often there was a mourning strain in them uh, we let us see the characteristics of the thomas gray's elegy thomas gray is a great and prominent writer of elegy in the genres of english poetry the elegiac note is distinguish features of his poems his poetry is full of mourning suffering and death his elegy written a in country churchyard is sincere song of mourning in it the poet personally pays his deeply felt sympathy and tribute to the common people who are dead and buried in country churchyard here the poet doesn't lament at the death of a particular person but he lament the death of common humble and nameless villagers a larger part of the charm his elegy comes from the poet's personal sensitive approach to his subject he lingers in the churchyard noting the signs of approaching nightfall until the atmosphere of twilight musings is established after which his reflections upon life and death have a tone of sadness and intimate sincerity of heart in his style the elegy is traditional and neoclassical but in ideas and attitudes gray breaks new ground he celebrates the worth and humanity of the common man in way that foreshadows the romantics like byron wordsworth sale etc thank you